Well, great morning, everyone. Today is Earth Day. So, let me grab some cards and we'll see what we have today. Okay, some people living in New Mexico are asking me if I'm going to be in their area. Really, I don't have dates and plans to be anywhere. Um, things change daily. <laughs> trying to get out the cards. I've got so many things in here. So for those that don't know, I think most people know what the music that I'm putting on today is the Cherokee morning prayer. which I thought was a good one to do today for Earth Day. Good way to start the morning. Wendy Aho. So I will, you know, keep up and let you know what area I'm in, what area I'm headed towards um, as things shift. But right now, I'm not sure. Um, you know, all I know at this point is I'm off to um, Albuquerque because I want to catch at least one day at the powwow. I've been wanting to do this for years to go to the big powwow. This is the biggest one in the country. And so I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to do this. So this year I will catch it at least one day. <laughs> And then after that, I don't know where I'm going to go next. But um, I do want to stay in New Mexico for a time. So we will see. We will see what we will see where I wind up. <laughs> I definitely want to go up to the Pueblos again. Oh, so many places I'd like to go in New Mexico. I do love New Mexico. Um, it's one of my favorite places, especially where the mesas are in the Red Rock. And that's my, that's really my heart thing. I love the uh, Red Rock and the mesas. It just really draws me. So we'll see. We'll see. Now let's see what the cards give us today. What are the cards giving us today? Ah. Okay. Move this out of the way. <clears throat> Off. When they are whole. I 
I think that's my favorite version of the Wendy Aho that I've done, the one with the birds. This is shaping up this morning. I hope everyone has a wonderful Earth Day. The boys have already been up and had their morning walk and uh, did their good boy things outside. made my coffee. So all is right with the world. Almost there. <laughs> it takes a while. Sorry about that. It takes a while to shuffle since I do so many cards with this. Um, it does take a bit of time to shuffle. Ooh, I'm running out of space here. I should really have put my bigger table up. But I haven't done that yet. Okay. And last card is okay. So let's see what we have today. How to put all this together. Let me put this up here. I have no more room for the whole thing there. Okay, we'll start with this. Obstacles. Obstacles this is the first card out this morning. Unexpected obstructions, frustration, difficulties, feelings of hopelessness, struggle, discouragement. Well, you know... When that happens, one has to start to dig deep because really when you get frustrated, you start feeling hopeless, you start struggling, you go into discouragement and depression. What is that going to solve? You know what I tell people when they, when they tell me that? I go, and how's that working for you? Okay. <laughs> really? That's, that's my first question. How's that working for you? If it's working for you, great, stay there. If it's not, then what do you need to do? Then you need to change your perception. Okay? Like yesterday, I had the thing and all of a sudden I look and I've got a big pool of water underneath all of my... In the second shelf where I have my pots and pans and everything, and there's a layer of water, I'm going, oh, that's good. <laughs> okay, so we need to look at this. But what would aid me to get frustrated, to get, uh, you know, feeling of hopelessness and discouragement, then nothing gets done. So you need to change the perception, okay? 
you need to take a breath, okay, and then breach, come up for air, <laughs> breach, <laughs> come up for air, <laughs> take a second, okay, and look at things, okay, if you sit there and you let your mind still, for those that have the mind is still going, I don't have a mind is still revolving, so for me, I just, you know, stop, you know, and just look at the situation, that's all. But if you sit there and you look deeper, you will find forgotten knowledge. You'll find some hidden knowledge to come up to pull you out of things. Now, in this case, I happen to have bought a little um, dish pan. And lo and behold, it actually just fits <laughs> in the sink area. Exact fit. So what do I do? I just put my little thing in there, run my water, whatever excess water, it goes in there, and I can throw it outside. It's clean water. It's, you know, gray water. So that's fine. And miraculously, I don't have a leak under the sink. <laughs> okay. Easy solve until I can get somewhere where I can really take the time to stop and look and see where it's dripping from so then I can get what's needed to fix it, okay? But again, it just takes changing your perception, getting out of the pity party, the woe me, the, you know, all the drama, taking a breath and come up for air, okay, and look deeper to get the knowledge that you need to go forward then you need to bring your ideas to life okay once you've figured out which way to go then you start moving okay start moving okay the way to go through all of this again is to surrender the situation at hand is a learning curve. It's, an, it's a way to uh, figure something out. If you're feeling frustrated, if you're feeling whatever the negative emotion is, it's a learning time. Okay, Something can be learned from it if one surrenders and says, okay, takes a breath, looks at things rationally, without getting, you know, in the pity party and the drama, if one just takes the time and surrenders, you will find a way through, okay? And once you learn to do this, you can do this in a repetition. When it happens, next time you'll know what to do, okay? <laughs> okay, so again, learn the lesson. This is something that takes repetition to finally get a handle on. So what are we going to do when there is, hold on, let me get back to the beginning here. When there is obstacles, okay, we're going to pull ourselves out, take a breath, Come up for air. Let your breathing slow. Come up for air. Okay. Change the perception. <laughs> so that we can surrender to the universe and say, okay, what's the lesson in this? Where do we go from here? And then you will get forgotten knowledge will pop up like a little mushroom, okay? <laughs> and mushrooms grow on what? Shit, okay? <laughs> Frankly speaking, they do, okay? <laughs> so again, you know, if you, that's the way you get to your forgotten knowledge. Then you can bring your ideas to life. 
sometimes it takes uh, the difficulty to come up with a new idea. Okay. And it takes then repetition, repetition. Once you get a handle on that, then you can start using it more often. Okay. And find your way through and see obstacles as learning curves, a time to dig deep, take time out if you need to, again, change your perception, and get some hidden knowledge to come to light to change the situation. Okay. So thank you for tuning in. Hopefully uh, people gain something from this. But I will see you online. And all of those, again, that are living in New Mexico and uh, wanting to meet up, I will let you know where I am at in New Mexico. I will be traveling around. I don't plan on just going to Albuquerque. I do plan on going to many places in New Mexico because this is one place I really do love. And uh, so we'll see. Okay. All in its timing. Okay. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you online. Aho. Have a great Earth Day.